heaven, I'm coming before you today to ask for clear instructions on whether or not this man is the one for me. He is not the man for you. Am I the one for this man? No, you're not supposed to be together. Mm. I'm hearing in my spirit together. We gonna be together. This table here, this particular table, <laughs> we are all on it. Or oh, at some point in our lives, we've all been on it. When I saw the TikTok, I, I was like, every woman out there at some point, even men can relate to this, how we somehow try to manipulate God into all of our situation. Have you seen how you know your spirit has told you what the answer is. Me, I'm guilty of this. I'm going to use myself first to start with. There's certain things that I, I refuse to pray about because I already know God's decision about it. Do you understand? Because he tells you, I swear I'm a spirit being. Let me explain to you guys. Continue. The same people that you meet and are permitting them, your spirit interprets the vibe. You just know. You just automatically just feel. Have I been wrong before? Nearly not. Yes, Do you understand? Because those people that I have overrode the voice that is telling me I've always had to pay for them. Have you seen how there's certain things, there's that stillness, that still voice inside of you that lets you know what it is. Like for me, I don't know how to explain this. If it barks like a dog, works like a dog, or, or is it a dog or a dog? They say it is most certainly what it is. That's how my life is. I don't know about you guys, but the first thoughts that comes to my mind on a certain matter is always the truth. It's so scary. Like when I think about something and I just think, hmm, phony. You now find yourself trying to say, oh, but they come across as sweet, so, oh, but they sent me this, so, oh, but they responded to that text on time. Oh. But your spirit has told you, you are the one trying to argue with your mind that this thing is not black. You can see it's black. You can see that it's, you can see it, that this is black and there's no amount of color, water, whatever you put to it. This thing is black. But we sometimes break our own hearts oh my by God. choosing to follow that voice that overrides the stillness in our minds about work, about relationships, about friendships, about even something as basic as where to live. That thing happens to me, I don't know about you. So I've learned over the years to respect that still inner voice. Call it the spirit, call it your inner man, call it what God, call it the universe. That thing, you do talk. It does not lie. Most of the people that I'm falling out with in my life, sometimes I even dream dreams. Is that bad? I've had a situation whereby someone who stopped working for me, I dreamt that we fell out in my dream. And a couple of months down the line, it happened. I just knew. So these days, I don't try my spirit. When you go to God in prayer and you say, God, this man, this man, first to start with, let's even break this table completely. I don't believe in going to God with certain people's names. I don't think God is that invested. Cuts me anywhere. This is my personal belief. I just feel like it's the same way people think that karma, because somebody hurts you, God is going to punish them. Nalayo, God loves everybody. Yeah. He loves all of us together. Do you know many people have broken hearts, broken hearts, broken hearts, and they've gone scot free? Or maybe when something bad happens to them, you now think it's because they hurt you. Go and sit down somewhere. It's not that deep. God is not involved in all this relationship drama. It's the same way you can meet somebody on the streets and you guys just meet today and become the best of friends. It's the same way you don't go to God to say, ah, I met this girl called Chioma on the street, Lord, is she going to be a good friend? No, you use your intuition, right? You use your brain, you look at the vibe, you look at how they are as people and then you make up your mind if they're going to be in your life. Why do we now give God so much work and the devil too much credit? When bad things happen, not the devil, not the devil, not the devil. When we're in that funny situation, hey, 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 oh God, God is God's work. He's God that will come and deliver you from that bad relationship. Sister, before it became bad, something in your mind told you but you refuse to listen guys it's the same way when you're with that babe they're just wasting your time your spirit they talk middle of the night when you're in the bed you just hear that voice the voice will tell you something right here once you hear it it's not left to you to either decide that ah am i going to follow the stillness of the voice and not deceive myself or oh, am I going to just, as this video said, here together? Did you first ask God, is this man for me? He said, no. Ask, am I for him? Imagine how we always sometimes manipulate God. You ask one, is this job? Am I supposed to take this job? You don't say, oh, am I supposed to travel? Hello? He has already told you no. No is no. But you find a way to twist his arm to agree with what you want to do. When he now scatter, hey, God, you hate me. You didn't save me. You now start shaking for the guy. You know go better for you. You will not find happiness. God told 
told you he wasn't the one. You chose to follow your flesh. You chose to follow that thing that is between your leg. Wait, you chose to follow your, your brain went on holiday. The way the person makes you feel, just the way they make you laugh. And if that's what you want to do, me, I'm now a believer. I'm not saying I've repented. I still find myself in this situation. No. But at least I follow it with my full chest. If the spirit is telling me, this person is not for you, especially in relationships, I can say, God, will I get gifts? <laughs> God, they answer all those prayers. Maybe I should just follow. So I time myself, this is what I want, this is what I want. I'm already entering that situation knowing that this one is not going anywhere. So the day ends, I can't go to God and be crying because I don't even know how to even call his name. He has warned me. So when you know that you want to do something, do it with your full chest and let's stop trying to drag God into the mix. God has tried. Hi, saving all these children he has created. You, you, you come and meet him. I met this guy, you know. Even when they tell you they are single, your spirit will tell you, I don't know about you guys, maybe I'm talking about myself. I know, I'll just be like, this nigga married. There's something about this guy. If it's too good, you'll be like, hmm. There's something. You see that saying that when it comes from God, there's clarity, and when it doesn't, there's confusion. That's how I'm closing this video. That shit is real. Call it Buddha, call it God, call it universe, call it whatever you want to call it. See, we're spirit beings here on earth. Before you find yourself in some messy situations, if you check well the journey to where you fell into that hole, there were so many signals that you ignored because you thought you were smarter, because you wanted to believe. Sometimes you want to believe the good in the people that have no good. Not like they have no good, but they have nothing to offer. That's a rema. Well, you to choose see. to see the good in a dead situation. It is your choice that is responsible for your situation. Because you chose, you heard all the warning signs, but you still chose to say no. Maybe they will change. Maybe down the line it will be different. Down at your life down the line you found yourself in this situation you now want to drag god please leave god in heaven let him answer my prayer he's not responsible for your bad choice you made that choice i've also been on this table before or more we made the choice together full chest own it get it i said father please show me mercy i'm suffering right now because of a choice that i made do you understand thank you guys for watching please remember to subscribe to my youtube channel and follow me on twitter goodbye